Hello students, how are you all? So today we are going to discuss about the difference of two sets. Okay. So we have already started about the union and intersection of sets. Now we are going to talk about the third operation which is difference of two sets. Now what is meant by difference? Difference is means that uh, whatever we take out from the first uh, group, the remaining left is known as the difference, right? But in case of sets, it also means the same. It's just like that if we are taking a difference between two sets, let's suppose A and B. So it means that when we are talking about uh, difference of sets A and B, it means that the elements of A which are not present in the set B, hence it means that A minus B. And when we talk about the uh, difference which is B minus A, it means that the difference of between the sets B and A, the elements of B which are not present in set A. Okay? Now, let's talk about the example. You will help, you will understand this much better when with the help of an example. Okay. Now, let's suppose we have two sets which are A and B. Now, A is 1, 3, 6 and the elements of set B is 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. Now, first of all, we are supposed to calculate A minus B. Alright. So, you know that in um, normal subtraction even, the element, uh, the number written before the subtraction sign mean is the bigger number or is the number out of which this number will be subtracted right okay so the remaining whatever the answer remaining the answer will is left or the remaining answer is from the first element right so first of all we're going to write the elements of 1 a which is 1 3 6 minus 1 2 3 4 and 5 now what are we going to do is, first of all, we have to look for the common ones, which is 3, um, which are this thing. 1 is common here and 3 is common here. 6 is not common. So, the element which is not present in B should be written as the answer. Right? We have subtracted the elements of B from A. Okay, whatever the elements of B were present in set A, we have taken them out and the the element which is not present in B is the remaining one. Okay, so this is the answer for A minus B. 6 is not present in B. So the answer will be 6. This is the part of A which is not in B. Okay, so we have to write all the elements which are not present in A. Okay. So let's suppose if we are asked about B minus A. It means that we have to write the B first. 1 2, 3, 4, 5 minus 1, 3, 6. Now we have to subtract the elements of A from B. So 1 is common here, 3 is common here. Okay. So the elements left in B are 2, 4 and 5. These are the elements which are not present in A. Okay. So, uh, always remember that whenever we perform the operation A minus B and B minus A, they are not equal. As you can see from the answer, A minus B is not equal to B minus A. So, always remember that if you are taking a difference of two sets, if you change the orientation like from A minus B, you are asked to find about A minus B and you perform B minus A, the answer will not be the same. As you can see from the example, right? What we have done is, what we have to do here, we have to write the remaining uh, elements from the first set which are not present in the se second set, okay? I'm going to explain this example to you again or I can give you another example. This might help you understand the concept better. So now we have two sets here, A, B, C, D, E and the set B is A, E, I, O, U. So when we are supposed to ask A minus B, we means that we are going to subtract the elements of B from A and the remaining elements will be written as it is, right? So it's like A, B, C, D, E. E minus A E I O U. So the common here are A and E.
okay now so we see that the common um, elements are a and e in both of these so a minus b means that we have we have to write those elements which are the remaining left in a after subtracting after removing those which are found in b so the answer will be you can guess it right after um, taking out a and e which are from b we are left with b c and d okay so this is how it is done now if you asked about subtracting a from b which is b minus a it will be different that will be a e i o u minus a b c d e right okay now look if you look at the common ones they are again same right so a and e are common in both of them but when we are subtracting the elements of a from b the remainder elements of b will be different from what these are above so after taking out the elements of a which are present in b like we are subtracting the elements of a from b so the elements that are left the remainder are these three uh, letters elements i o u so now it will be much clearer to you that a minus b is not equal to b minus a so this is how a difference of two sets is taken out i hope you understand uh, the today's lecture so um, i'll meet you in another topic on another day so if you haven't subscribed to my channel yet please do so and hit that notification bell so that when i upload my next video you will get notified by it so i'll meet you in my next video till then take care and bye bye